Hey guys, what's up? Russ here with this week's Superhero Spotlight. Last week was Rogue, so it stands to the reason that this week, it's Gambit. Now, Gambit's first appearance is debated between Uncanny X-Men Annual 14 and Uncanny X-Men 266. The Annual came out about a month before issue 266 hit, so personally, I count that as his actual first appearance, but 266 is his first cover appearance, and it's a more popular book. Gambit was created by Chris Claremont, Jim Lee, and first drawn by Mike Collins. His powers include kinetic energy, generation and manipulation, self-charging, static generation, superhuman physical attributes, transmutation of substances into acid or poison, trajectory curving, corruption, death charge, foresight via tarot cards, thermal manipulation, space-time manipulation, and energy physiology. He was part of a thieves guild before becoming a member of the X-Men. Given his history, few X-Men trusted Gambit when he joined the group. There was constantly a source of stress between him and his own again off again love interest and eventual wife, Rogue. This exasperated when Gambit's connections to the villain Mr. Sinister were revealed. Although some of his team members do accept that Gambit honestly seeks redemption, often portrayed as a ladies man, Gambit has shown a more vulnerable side of himself over the years, especially when it comes to Rogue. As a child, Gambit was kidnapped from the hospital by the LeBeau clan. Remy's biokinetic energy and charging abilities manifested early in his teens, although he kept his powers a secret from his family and friends. During a mission for the Thieves Guild, he was captured and forced to use his powers to escape. Ultimately, he was rescued by the Guild. Later during his teen years, Remy was hired by Mr. Sinister, who was then disguising himself as Nathaniel Essex. He was sent to retrieve Essex's stolen diaries from the Weapon X program. During the mission, Remy decided to burn the diaries instead of returning them. When he returned, the Thieves Guild and Essex were irate. In an attempt to reconcile the thieves and the assassins, Remy married Belladonna Boatrex granddaughter of the head assassin, whom he met at the age of eight. Unfortunately, he was challenged by her brother to a duel. In the duel, Gambit killed her brother. He was exiled from the city, ending his romantic relationship with Belladonna. After his exile, he wandered the world, honing his skills and becoming a master thief. He made numerous new contacts and enemies. He ended up encountering a de-aged, powerless Storm and helped her escape from the Shadow King. Storm eventually brought Gambit back to the X-Men and soon after he helped them, X-Factor, and the New Mutants battle the Genotians. Only Wolverine expressed his doubts about the Cajun, which led to a Danger Room duel between the two. Gambit was able to triumph by using a robotic doppelganger of Lady Deathstrike to distract Wolverine, Gambit became romantically interested in one of his team members, Rogue, and started flirting with her despite her off-putting manner and the obstacle of her uncontrollable mutant ability that prevented anyone from touching her. He began romancing and seducing Rogue. Their strong romantic relationship was originally written as a one-time flirtatious moment. Ironically, their romantic relationship is lasted as one of the longest and most popular ongoing deep and close romantic relationships in the X-Men series. All right, that's it for this week's Superhero Spotlight. I'll catch you guys next week. Peace. What did you say his power level is? It's over 9,000!